Now before you ask why I'm wearing the same shirt as I am on the previous vlog, it's because I didn't realize it and I just wore the same fucking shirt anyways. Who cares, alright? Don't judge me. Remember this panda shirt? Remember this one? Yeah, you like that. Oh, I almost got my nipple. Oh, what is going on, YouTube? What pie in your face? Oh. Now growing up, if you didn't know, I was broke. I was a little ghetto child that didn't have much, but I always knew that I had more than enough. But whenever I didn't think I was poor, I always had my Asian parents to remind me exactly how poor I was. <laughs> you, you thought I was gonna be like, how blessed and amazing your life is. This ain't a white American sitcom, shit's real. Asian parents always like to remind you how broke they are, even if they have money. Mom, can you buy me these Jordans? Hey, yeah, you have two shoes on your feet, mommy have no money. Mommy was so hard till the sun come up in the dragon. Ah, okay, I get it. Gonna be here for 14 fucking moons listening to this shit, goddamn. But if you wanna find out if you're ghetto and you're broke, you got to do the McDonald's scale of ghetto brokenness. Number one, you know your ghetto based on your McDonald's menu etiquette. When you go to McDonald's and you didn't even know they had more than two things on the menu, you broke as fuck. Before I had a job, I thought McDonald's only had two burgers, the dollar McChicken and the dollar double cheeseburger. And if you got anything else, you rich as fuck, bitch. Mm. Because of my financial status, I was what you call a broke ass hater. <laughs> you have a look at people who got a combo meal like they were better than you as shit. Just me? No. Look at this motherfucker supersizing this fried mug me nice. Oh word, you gonna get a filet of fish <laughs> Bitch, you rich. We all know it's all about economy, baby. Why supersize a drink when you can go eat inside, get a small drink, and refill that bitch? That's right, quench your thirst. Bitch, I don't supersize my meal. I supersize my life. You know your ghetto based on how you reacted to the $5 20-piece McNuggets. <laughs> if you reacted like this, 20-piece McNuggets, that's an amazing deal. Oh, you rich. And if you reacted like this, <laughs> When they changed the price of chicken nuggets, the ghetto erupted. I'm talking about I ate so many McNuggets, I started to look like one. It was so funny because the way people went about it, you would have thought the cure to AIDS was in one of those damn things. Shit, I got full blown AIDS. Have a McNugget. It's gone. As a broke child, chicken nuggets was something that you never really got unless you really wanted them or there was a fucking deal. They were too expensive and the amount that you could afford didn't really get you full, so that shit was rich people shit. 20 pieces for five dollars. Small children, pregnant women, old ass fucking ladies, y'all were all in danger if you got in the way of me and my meat nugget. You know what we call that? We call that a McRampage. <laughs> you know your ghetto based on how you react every time the McRib comes back. If this is you, the fuck the McRib is back? Get the fuck out of here. Hey, what about your kids? Fuck that! Here's the thing, the McRib always toys with the fat man's emotions because of the way they market that delicious sandwich. It's because you keep giving it away and you keep taking it back. If y'all haven't noticed, the McRib in the fast food industry is like Jay-Z to hip hop. You say you're leaving the game, but you keep fucking coming back. That motherfucker Jay-Z said he was gonna retire 26 times, but every time he comes back with a new album. Hey, 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 this is it, I'm done. You thought it was over? <laughs> I'm back, over. This is it, <laughs> for real, I'm done. It's your boy, I'm back. Why'd y'all think I was done? Bitch, because you said you were. Oh, what is going on, YouTube? Thank you for tuning in again. Yes, 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 you guys realized that I took out the one, two, three, let's get it, let's go. I got tired of it, I wanna move on. I don't need it anymore. Maybe I'll bring it back, maybe I won't, I don't know. I'm kinda tired of doing this like this set structure stuff. I just wanna put up whatever the fuck I want and hopefully you guys laugh. If you don't, Fuck yourself. But yes, if you guys realize, the last two garments were on sale for a little bit cheaper just for you guys. But of course, when we release our new designs, those sales will disappear. So cop it while you can, while it's a little bit cheaper. You know, just for, you know, to save y'all little bucks. Thank you guys for tuning in. And yes, Triple F will be back coming up this Wednesday. So I will see y'all then. I love y'all mother suckers. Maybe I should bring this shirt back. You like this one, the panda one? I don't know, it's an old me. Maybe retro. Retro, go for broco. I was a little <laughs> ghetto child that didn't have much, but I never but did day. And you didn't even know they have more than two things on the menu. Manual, what the manual? When they had the manual?